Hi, <laughs> I'm, my name is Heather Collins and I live in Wasega Beach, Ontario. I've been here for five years now, living on the river, the Nottawasaga River, and I absolutely love it. It is so calming and so peaceful. It really helps my life de-stress. I am doing a little bit of investing in real estate, and currently I have a property for sale that is also on the Nottawasaga River. So you too could be totally de-stressed in your life. It's a gorgeous property. It was just completely rebuilt from the bottom up. It is a three bedroom property with two bathrooms, a beautiful loft space and truly a lovely property. So I'm hoping you'll take time to have a look at it and give me a call because I'm selling it privately. Give me a call if you're interested in viewing it or if you want any more information about it. Here is the beautiful river that you would live on once you have purchased this lovely property. This is the Nottawa Saga across the river and downstream is all and upstream actually is all conservation land so you would never be looking at a house across the river it's all beautiful conservation land and will be will be like that forever yes so here is the house this is the back of the house and as you can see it has tons of windows to take advantage of the view um, a beautiful lawn going down to the river to see with a privacy fence on both sides actually as well as a beautiful new deck and here's the front of the house with um, the front lawn brand new front lawn and driveway going right up at the side there what you can see is the bunkie which adds more space to the house and can be a fourth bedroom that's where you put the children Mm -hmm. there's the bunkie painted the same way as the house so it looks ever so cute with the red door and here's the back door, the sliding glass door of the house onto the beautiful new deck. Have a, a nice fire pit that you can put chairs around and three really large decks. This is the back lawn. River, river front. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the river front. So on your right, you can see a small shed. That's a garden shed. So you could use that to put in your kayaks or anything like that. This is an awesome property for kayaking and canoeing. And on the right, you can also see the fence on the other neighbor's side. Mm -hmm. Here's the inside of the house. It is an open floor plan, as you can see, um, with beautiful wooden beams up above. It has uh, a spiral staircase going up to a loft space, a very nice kitchen, um, quite large for the size of the house and with all the modern conveniences. So there's um, all the five different appliances there. There's a, a farmer's sink with some shelves on the left there. You can see matching the beams. Mm -hmm. um, this is a view out the side into the um, bunkie where, where you can see the bunkie out the window. And you can also have a good look at the fixtures here. This fixture would go over, the round fixture would be over the dining room table. Mm -hmm. And um, the other fixture is over the countertop. Mm -hmm. This is upstairs now in the loft space mm -hmm. where it has been virtually staged. So there's a glass railing so that you can put a couple chairs there and you can look out onto the river from there. Mm -hmm. um, we imagined the space at the other window as a little working space and then your bedroom. Off to the left, that doorway is the, oops, that's not quite the next picture, but is the bathroom upstairs. This is looking down from the glass railing onto the space. So the space in front of the countertop would be your living room setup, and on the right is the dining room setup. Mm. So it's a very nice open plan, um, not huge, but very uh, it feels very airy with the with the arch ceilings and the the beams it it has a very big feeling to it as well as a really calm and peaceful feeling mm. looking out here you can see the river and the deck out the the top windows there here's the bathroom upstairs as you can see our neighbors nicely planted a beautiful japanese maple so it frames the bathtub nicely there's also uh, a walk-in shower upstairs 
uh, in this bathroom. So it's a four piece bathroom with the soaker tub. And here is the deck space, also virtually, spa um, virtually staged. So you would have just so many choices of what to do because there's basically three huge decks. And, and this is down at the water. There's also a big deck at the house. So you have all kinds of space to decide how to create your outdoor living spaces. And there's the fire pit and there's the dock. So you go down the stairs in between the two front decks and you have a dock. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a perfect dock to launch your boat from canoes, kayaks, you can store them either under the deck itself or bring them up the stairs. In the winter, this deck is designed just to fold up onto the stairs and to pull up so that the ice and the different currents in the river as it rises in the spring, particularly, don't affect the deck or the stairs and there's no wear on them. Mm. And that is my last picture. So I hope that gives you a taste of the house. Mm -hmm. um, I do have more pictures on the for sale by owner website, fsbo.ca, if you're interested in looking more pictures. Mm -hmm. And just a little bit more about the house. Um, it is a brand new house. It has in-floor heating everywhere, as well as two heat pumps. And the heat pumps will be used mostly for air conditioning. There's a unit upstairs and a unit downstairs. It has all, obviously, everything brand new. So all the plumbing's brand new. The electric is brand new. All the material is brand new. And it is has 200 amp service, on-demand hot water, and a gas stove. It also has, which I didn't show you, a washer and dryer stacked in a closet. And the upstairs loft is a, what we visualize as the master bedroom, and it walks into the ensuite. Mm -hmm. So this is a perfect road on a perfect street. It's the same road I live on. This is a peninsula um, of the Nottawasaiga. It curves around this area, and it's a dead-end street. So it's a super quiet neighborhood. All the neighbors know each other. It's a very, very friendly neighborhood. And it's a great place to live because it's quiet, calm, but you are five minutes from the superstore. Okay. So you're literally out of the town, but you can be in the town in five minutes. So it's really a super place to live. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have any more picture to share indoors? So how many yes, bedrooms, how many bathrooms, those, you know? I, I do have more pictures that I could share for the indoors. Mm. Let me, um, there, so here's the downstairs bathroom. Um, it is got a tub as well as a shower in it, as you can see, and is a super clean, welcoming space. Here's one of the bedrooms downstairs. So there's two bedrooms on the main floor. Um, one of the bedrooms is here with a closet on the right-hand side that you can see. And this is the second bedroom. They're both, one has two windows, the other has one. They both have remote controlled fans in the rooms and are a good size, um, sort of around 12 by 12 each bedroom. Mm -hmm. So there's one bedroom coming out into the hallway. And this is the living space, virtually staged also. So you can see the countertop, uh, a nice place to eat at nice and comfortable looking into the kitchen. And then you have this living space where you could put a nice fireplace for those cold days and have plenty of room for seating. And this is looking from the front door into the house. So on your right hand side, you have your dining area, which is a nice rectangular space, nice for a table and can seat many people there's six here but it could seat more and the living space further along in the back there so you get a better sense of how things look mm -hmm. the bedroom behind the kitchen. behind ah. yes so so the bedrooms are behind the kitchen first there's the bathroom then the two bedrooms okay and the upstairs the full bathroom and master bedroom yes exactly exactly so there you can see uh, the two doors into the bedroom, 
Um, the, the closet there is the washer and dryer closet. Okay. And um, off to the left here would be the spiral staircase to take you up to the loft space. Okay. Okay. okay so you can see the gas stove mm -hmm. and the hood. There you go. So there's a, a better picture of the spiral staircase going up to the loft area mm. and the countertop. Yeah, around the living, right? Yes, it's totally winterized, amazingly insulated. It's going to cost almost nothing mm -hmm. to heat and to cool um, because it's a brand new build. Mm -hmm. So it is um, the contractor who built it. Mm -hmm. Brendan Subic is super careful with details around insulation and around his finishes so it's a very nicely finished house he's done a super job on it this is also a um a location where you're 20 minutes to Collingwood and 25 minutes to Blue Mountain so it's super accessible in the winter to all the fun winter things to do um the Blue Mountain Four Season Resort is 25 minutes away so you're really close to all the fun but this area of Georgian Bay has to offer you and also I should mention that you're just a couple minutes away from the bay itself mm -hmm. right on the river and a couple minutes away from the bay you can also put your your boat in and sail all the way out to the bay along the Nottawasaga River oh okay so you can canoeing from your backyard to the Wasaga beach yes you can oh that's great yeah. Yeah. And then this is on the paved road, right? Yes. It's a paved year round road. Yes. Mm -hmm. The property is for sale mm -hmm. for uh, $1,199,000. The taxes on the property, just over $1,700 mm -hmm. a month. Very inexpensive. It was last assessed in 2016, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, the property itself, the lot is 50, so you have 50 feet on the river by 158. So it's a fairly deep lot. Mm -hmm. um, and the house itself is 1,325 square feet. This is a fair for you to sell this amount. It's not the, you selling this house to make a fortune kind of idea, right? We had originally bought this property in order to renovate the cottage that was on it. Mm -hmm. That proved not to be possible. So we ended up knocking it down, demolishing mm -hmm. it and putting up this brand new house. It ended up costing us a lot more than we thought it would because we were looking at a renovation and we ended up with a new build mm -hmm. as well. Uh, all the building materials doubled in the time that we were building this house um, mm -hmm. because of the costs of holding it. We couldn't really stop the build, hoping that the materials would go down. So mm -hmm. we just forged forward through that time. Mm -hmm. um, because of all this, building costs were super high. Mm -hmm. And we have decided to go to try and sell it without a realtor, or not to try to, to sell it without a realtor, because our margins of making any money on the property at all are very, very small. Mm -hmm. So if we were to sell with a realtor, we would be paying the realtor, but we would not be getting paid ourselves. And we have put a lot of time and energy into this house. That is why we came up with the number we did, as well as looking at the market and seeing what's out there on the river and, mm. and seeing what is fair for this mm. incredibly unique location, mm. this unique spot on the river that is quiet and very much to the taste of nature lovers. Who can be really fit on this property? I think this property is ideal as, as a cottage for someone who may live in the city and needs a getaway. It, it's a house that would be incredible for people who are looking to really get out of their, their city living mode, their rushing around, all that stuff, and have some very calm and peaceful energy on this beautiful river. It's it's a property that's designed for people who are uh, looking for peace in their life and looking for that kind of slow life that's really focused on relaxation, on maybe fishing, on kayaking, on those outdoor pursuits that Wasega Beach and Collingwood are so good at. But it's still accessible to all the fun things that you might also like to do. 
Mm-hmm. So Wasega Beach also is a very active community. It has a lot of different activities for different people, particularly retired people. And it has a lot of different concerts, musical um, events, and all kinds of different events happening. There's a new library being built, a new arena being built. So it's a super up and coming community also. The other thing is, it's <laughs> it is a really quick commute from Toronto. So it's an hour and a half from Toronto, no problem, which means that you can be at your own cottage on a river in an hour and a half. And we live here full time. We just love it. It's like living in a cottage atmosphere always. So you always feel like you're on vacation. Space makes an amazing house. So we just live here all year round. I would bet that people who are coming up here using it as cottage are going to end up just living up here anyway. The young family with the children, a school nearby? Several elementary schools nearby. So yeah, and the the YMCA is just down the street. So there's lots of activities there for families. Staying home and work, right? That could be ideal as well. Absolutely ideal. That would be super. And I think there in um, some beautiful working spaces that you could set up up there. Um, I think it would be a lovely atmosphere to work in. And also it's, you know, 30 minutes from Barry. It's really a very amazing spot to commute to from anywhere. Okay. Barry is the biggest town, but really Collingwood has all the shopping that you need. Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing we would go to Barry for is Costco. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But really, other than that, Collingwood has everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. saw yesterday, stop by the Collingwood. Even condominium is over a million dollars. Realtors, the office, right? Window shopping, the pictures. Yes. Are- yeah. Wow. The prices are, are quite high in Collingwood. Mm-hmm. Um, a little bit more than they are in Wasega Beach, for sure. You know, rather to buy the whoever sitting on the land like this house than you know, the condominium on the top, right? Exactly. Yeah. And it's rarer and rarer to find stuff on the river. On mm-hmm. this street itself, there there will be no more builds on the river. It, there's neighbors on the east and the west. Mm-hmm. Um, on At the front of the house, there's no neighbor. There's just forest across there. Oh. And so far, they have not been able to develop that land. So my belief is it's going to stay as forest for a long time. Mm-hmm. And then across the river where you look out, there's no neighbors. That's mm-hmm. conservation land and will never be developed. So, yes, on two sides, no neighbors mm-hmm. and on two sides, neighbors. Oh. One more thing. There is seller financing available. Really? Very attractive. How many percent? Uh, we haven't decided that would be negotiated in the settlement. So we don't know. And we would do about probably about between two and four hundred thousand seller financing. 30 percent at least. Right. Okay. Yes. Calling with Wasaga, there's easy to get the mortgage, the area or population wise, less population. Is it more hard to get mortgage? I don't think so. I think it's based okay. pretty well the same. It would be anywhere, you know, in Toronto or anywhere. It's not more difficult here. Okay. Okay. That's great. Any remarks you want to leave? Please (laughs) give me a call Mm -hmm. at Mm 647-973-6306 if you are interested in viewing this property or hearing any more information about it. I'd love to talk to you. Everyone can be pro-investors. Thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next video.